The explanation here assumes you have watched the videos on Charles' law and the kinetic theory of an ideal gas. From the video on Charles' law, you'll know that the volume of a fixed mass of gas is directly proportional to its temperature, providing that the pressure remains constant. When a gas is cooled, the molecules hit the sides of the container less hard and less often. The change of momentum of the molecules is less, and the force on the sides of the container is less, so the pressure is less. If the volume of the container is reduced to maintain the same pressure, then the same slower molecules occupy a smaller volume. The question arises as to what will happen if we keep lowering the temperature, the molecules get slower and slower, what will happen when they stop? 150 years ago, William Kelvin, later to become Lord Kelvin, suggested an alternative temperature scale based upon absolute zero. Absolute zero being the temperature at which the molecules cease to move the lowest temperature that it is possible to reach. We can extend the experiment demonstrating Charles' law to make an estimate of this value of absolute zero. Starting with 12 millilitres or 12 cubic centimetres of air trapped in a syringe, contained in a freezer, where the temperature is minus 19 degrees Celsius. We warm that air in stages, recording at regular intervals the new volume and the temperature the volume being simply taken from the side of the syringe and the temperature being measured by an electric probe. The probe is accurate to plus or minus one degree. But the value of the volume of the syringe is slightly doubtful because of possible friction between the piston and the syringe sides. So the first of the readings in the bowl of water is where the volume has increased to 13 cubic centimetres and the temperature is 11 degrees Celsius. The next, at a volume of 14 cubic centimetres, is when the temperature is 31 degrees Celsius. The next pair of measurements is at a volume of 15 cubic centimetres, when the temperature was 57 degrees Celsius. And finally, at a volume of 16 cubic centimetres, and a temperature of 87 degrees Celsius. A graph of these results provides a reasonably straight line. In order to make an estimate of the value of absolute zero, we're going to change the scales, extending the axes to show a large negative temperature. We then extend or extrapolate the graph line so that it cuts the temperature axis. This intersection highlighted is a theoretical point because we're assuming that the gas is ideal. In particular, we're assuming that the molecules themselves have no volume. However, the assumption is perhaps not grossly unrealistic because as the gas cools, the spacing between the molecules will become much less. If the molecules stop moving, the spacing is zero and the volume becomes very tiny. The value of absolute zero that we have estimated here is significantly different from the normally accepted value of minus 273 Celsius. But this was only intended to be a rough and ready demonstration. In particular, the friction on the sides of the piston was substantial. Kelvin suggested an accurate value of absolute zero as the base of a universal temperature scale. The individual degrees of temperature of the scale are exactly the same as for the Celsius scale. The lowest possible temperature of minus 273 degrees Celsius absolute zero becomes naught degrees Kelvin. The freezing point of water becomes 273 Kelvin and the boiling point 373. All gas equation calculations use the Kelvin scale of temperature. These are explained in other videos in the series. Thank you for watching.